In this lesson, we are going to design product details page like this. At the end of last session, we could manage to send an Ajax request and get details information about a product. And it's time to shape that like this. So let's check the elements of this page. There is a back to result button and three columns, image, product info, and action. Let's go for them. And in the return section, instead of returning H1, what I'm gonna return is a div that contains all columns. Div, set class of this div to content and close it. Create back to result. First of all, create a div for that and set the class to back to result and a link that points to the home page and the title is back to results and close it create another div and set this div class to details because it's gonna be used for showing details of a product and close this inside this div there are three columns let's create three divs first div is details image and inside that there should be an image source is gonna be product.image product.image and the alternative text should be product.name and close this self-closing tag let's close this step for details image and it's time to go for details info create a div set class to details dash info and close this div inside the body of this div we are going to show list of data if you check the final result there should be one two three four section so it's much better to use a ul ul li and the first li is gonna be h1 to show product name because product name is the most important part of this content close li and close ul we are going to add another li and it's for rating li inside that use dollar sun curly braces and type rating dot render and here i am going to pass the rating value and rating text value should comes from product dot rating and text is a mix of product num review and in a space reviews put a colon right after text and save the file to format that it's time to import rating go up import rating from dot slash components slash rating very good we have created the second li let's close this li and it's time to go for the next one the price li for price price column and inside strong tag put dollar dollar product dot price the first dollar is for showing dollar sign and the second one is to get access to javascript inside template withdrawals and close strong tag let's put a slash li and it's time to show description and li for description description column and create a div inside this div use dollar sign product dot description great close this li and create indentation like this so we have created the second column and it's time to go for the last column which is about details action to show add to cart button right after this dev create another dev and set class to details action close this dev and inside that it's time to create another ul this ul this ul 
contains one, two, or three items. Let's go for them. Li price is gonna be dollar sign dollar dollar product dot price and close li second li is for status status for a status i'm going to use a condition if product dot count in stock greater than zero it means that it exists i'm going to wrap it inside in a span span and the class is success because uh, you know it should be green that means that it's a good news in stock and close the span here if it doesn't exist i'm going to show another span inside backtick literal span this time set class to error it's not a good news because we are going to say unavailable and close the span so that's it for status section don't forget to close li and close ul it's time to add the last li the last one is a button button set class of this button to primary we will implement background color gold for primary buttons set caption to add to cart and set an id for this and set id to add button so we just implemented the html structure of product screen let's check the result here back to result the image product information and the action but as you see they are in one column what we want to do is to change the css to make them like this convert from this to this so the remaining part of this session is about css open style.css at the end create a section for product details before that for class content i'm going to create a padding one rim by having this there is a padding around back to results and very similar to this one what i'm gonna do is to create details class set display to flex to put the stuff in one row justify content to space between to create maximum space between them and set align items to flex start to align them vertically and set flex wrap to wrap what happens by using this if the screen is a small all columns will be pushed down and there should be in one column in mobile devices let's go for details image details dash image what we want to do for this column is set flex you know if we divide the width of this screen to four section two sections should be image and it should be shrinkable and the width is 60 rem let's go for the image inside that inside this set max width to 60 rem and also set width to 100%. Let's check the result. You see, this time, these two items is next to each other. It's time to style these two parts. Let's go for them. For details, info, it should be flex. 1, 1, 30 RAM. You know, it's half of 60. And same rules apply to details dash action put a dot before that there should be an s in the details info and here here is details action let's check the result uh-huh you see they are going to get close to each other it's time to add some style to h1 and get rid of bullet points here to do that go to style.css and add this code details 
dash info ul and details dash action ul set padding to zero and set list style type to noun the next one should be making heading one small inside details info dot details info heading one set font size to two rem and set margin to zero let's check the results save the file aha uh -huh. this time it's small what we are going to do at this step is margin button for li's inside details in fun action dot details info li and dot details info action li create margin button one rem for for details action i'm going to create a border like this and add a very slight background details action set border to 0.1 rem and a gray background 380 solid create a border radius to 0.5 rem and create a very light gray background f8 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 and create a padding around it padding to one rem great let's check the result aha uh -huh. you know it's this let's add a style to add to cart to add a style i'm going to go at the very top of style.css and right after anchors i'm going to create a section for button and for button i'm going to have this styles set font to 1.6 rem helvetica set padding to 1 rem create a border 0 0.1 rem 80 80 80 solid and set border radius to 0 0.5 rem if hovers happens if you move mouse over the button i'm going to create a dark border around it it should be border 0 0.1 rem and the color is darker and solid also for button set cursor to pointer and it's time to add a style to primary button button dot primary we are going to only change the background color to f0 c0 4 0 it's gold color let's check the result aha uh -huh. so it's time to make it full width to do that add a class right after buttons dot fw full width and set width to a hundred percent and use this class name inside product screen and right before the name of this class check the result and that's it for this lesson in the next lesson we are going to implement add to cart button and create an event handler for it until that lesson bye bye